Good morning. This is Mike McCrickard with Automotive Management Solutions, or AMS. Wanted to give a brief introduction of ProTractor. So what we're looking at here is what they call their prioritization screen. This represents all the cars on the parking lot. Uh, we have a status of the vehicle over here. We can have different flags here to give us the status of vehicles and a plus the vehicle, the technician, the service rider, and everything above. So we have a customer coming in and wants an oil change today. So we want to come up and do the new work order. And we want to enter the customer's information in here. So I uh, ask the customer what their phone number is, and it is 336-627-0559. I hit enter. And when I hit enter here, I can see that this coming up under my white pages pro. I do not have this customer in my location. So I highlight it here, verify information. So I right click and go to edit it. And I can come in here and have the customer's name. I can add her husband's name if I want to. I can come in here and label that if I need to. I can move the husband above her name if I want. Any way I want to. I can add different phone numbers if I need to add another phone and that phone might be a cell phone. I could enter it here in the same way with email addresses. So here I've got the address. I can always edit the address, how the customer heard about us, customer notes, anything here I want to do with the customer. So I click save and close and now I've got this customer saved under my location. Now I need to add the vehicle. So I'm going to come up here to add the vehicle and I'm going to change this to North Carolina and I enter the customer's license tag number which is ACX1752. I click the magnifying glass here. It does the Carfax lookup. It comes up here and gives me the plate number, matches this VIN number. It's decoded to a 2011 Toyota Camry with a 2.5. And so here I come down and I look at the models, the, the sub-model of the car. And I can see that this one here, the 2.5, gives me that. So I select this vehicle. I click OK. It decodes the license tag, comes over with the year, make, model, sub-model, engine. Here's the license tag number. Here I could enter a fleet unit number. Here I could enter the odometer mileage. And I think this car has about 203,000 miles. This is a white car. And I went out and looked at the production date and I can enter the production date here. I can disable the marketing here and also enter notes on the vehicle here. Also I can come here to go to the Carfax history and look at the Carfax history on this car on the mechanical history. I can print this for the customer if I need to. I click close and I save that. So now I have the customer and their vehicle in here. So I'm going to click next. Here's where I'm going to select what the customer is looking for. So I know they're wanting to do an oil change. I can scroll down past the inspections. Come down to my oil change. And this car I happen to know takes a synthetic oil change. So everything I'm going to select here goes onto the right side of the screen and everything on the right side is going to the work order. So I double click on the oil change and it's prompting the service advisor, do you want to do an inspection? Of course we want to do an oil change courtesy inspection on this car when we do the oil change. And so here you have the inspection and here you have the oil change. Well she said the battery is getting weak and so we're going to come in here, we're going to go to the batteries <clears throat> and we're going to put a, a battery concern on this ticket here. Uh, I'm not going to do a, uh, an inspection there, but I want to come over here and say the concern uh, engine cranks slow. The conditions uh, when cold. Last service, customer doesn't know. So I've got that on there. Uh, also said the brakes have been making a noise, so let's go down to the brakes. And I can search through the brakes here and find what I'm looking for. But I've coded my brakes to a B2 to do a front brake job in, a, in the pads. So I double click that, excuse me, the pads and the rotors. It's prompting the service rider to upsell to a fluid exchange or a fluid flush. I scroll down and everything I've selected here is now on the right side. So I click next. This is where I can set up reminder items for this customer. I do want to remind them of their oil changes and tire rotations. So I'm going to select it here. I can also customize this per vehicle. 
So I want to select this car at 5,000 miles because it takes synthetic oil. I click OK. The current mileage is 203. I click Next. And then Finish. Now I have the open work order. And because I'm doing an oil change on this vehicle, the system's coming up and telling me this car takes 4.6 quarts. It also takes a 020 oil. So if I move this window to the side here, I can see on my work order that it just says engine oil, and it says my default engine oil is 5 quarts. But when I click OK here, it changes the engine oil to 020, and it changes my quantity to 4.6 quarts. Now what I'd like to do at this point is probably just pull that oil out of my inventory, so I'll right click on the oil, I do an inventory lookup, here's my 020 oil, it shows that I have 52.7 in stock, so I'm just going to double click that and that pulls that oil out of the inventory, and now I need the system to look up the oil filter, the brake pads, and also Miss Denny uh, was looking for the battery, so I'm going to go ahead and quote her a battery too. So I'm going to come up here to the Add the Services. I'm going to go into my batteries. I'm going to do the battery here. and We're going to add and close that. We're not going to upsell anything else at this point. So now when I scroll down, I've got the lube oil and filter, the brakes, and the battery. So I need the system up to give me the prices so I can give uh, Miss Denny a price. I'm going to come up here and click Catalog Lookup, and this is going to go down through all these items. So here you notice it's looking for the oil filter. So I click Oil Filter, and I click Check. So it's checking my store for the filter. I can also check other stores here if I want to. But I notice here it says inventory yes. That means I have this oil filter in stock. So I'm going to select that filter. I'm going to click apply. And the system is asking me, do I want to pull that, engine, that oil filter out of inventory or do I want to purchase it? Well, of course, I want to pull it out of inventory. I click OK. Now you can see here it's looking for the brake pads. Now, I can filter this to tell it to just look labor for the front by typing front here, select the labor, I click apply. Now it's looking up the brake pads, front brake pads. I also like the fact that it's showing me everything related with brakes here. So I'm going to check the front pads, and I see the store has these in stock. I'm seeing my cost in my list. So I'm going to shoot for something in the middle here for Miss Denny. I click apply. Now it's looking up the rotors. This is the front rotor. And what do they have in stock? So I can click here and say show only what they have in stock here. So they've got two of these. I'm seeing my cost. So I'll select these rotors. I can also double click here if I want to to see a picture of any of the parts that I'm looking up. So I selected that. I click apply. Now it's looking up the labor to replace the battery, which is half an hour. I click apply. Now it's looking up the battery. Let's see what they have in stock here. And I don't have any in stock, so I'm going to look at my cost. Select the battery, click apply. So now just that fast, I could tell Miss Denny what the oil change is, the brake pads, and the battery comes out to out the door price of 861. Well, Miss Denny's asking me, okay, well, what is it going to be without the battery? So I want to come up here and select my review service packages. We can see it summarizes each job here with the price here and the total out the door here. So we're going to take the check out of the battery job and we're going to see the price here change when I take the battery out. So I can tell Miss Denny that it's $548 without the battery, $79 for just the oil change, and I can do any combination of these that I want. So she says she doesn't want to do the battery today, so I'm going to leave the check out of the battery. I'm going to click Apply the Package Choices, and I can enter a note here if I want to. And so now it goes back to the work order, and I can see that the battery is now not on the work order, but it is, up, but it is down in my Deferred Work section of the work order. So now we need to order these parts. So I'm going to drop down here to my Purchases. And if you notice here, the parts are a magenta color. We pull the oil and the oil filter out of inventory, so it's already sourced those parts. Now we need to source or order these parts. And notice this is magenta and this is black. So I go down to my purchases button. I click the, the part. I click place the order. And now it's going to come up with the order screen for the pads and the rotors. I can also enter a note here to the supplier if I want to and click place the order. 
Well, if you notice, this is three sections. We have to be ordered, order confirmed, and order received. So when we get the confirmation back and click OK, these parts are now going to drop down to the order confirmed section. If I go back to my work order, now these brake pads and rotors are black here, and the units are magenta, meaning we've ordered these parts and not received them yet. How many times have you ever looked at a work order and asked yourself, have these parts been ordered yet or not? Well, Protractor in a visual way shows you that the parts have been ordered but not received. Well, when the parts come in, the parts house brings them. We come back into here. We can do open the purchase order. Make sure we have the supplier right. Make sure we have the, the supplier invoice right. The reference number is this work order number. We click receive all. If you want to add these to, yes, I do. So now these two parts drop down to the order received section. When I come to the work order, now all the parts and labor are black. We can quickly and easily come down to the analysis section here, and we can see what our margins are on the parts, the sale price, our cost, profit dollars, and profit margin. So as you can see, very quick and easy. Was able to get the customer price quickly. Uh, we can come down, we can go back, and we can do the uh, general concern on the batteries. We can edit this. We can do the inspection. So thank you, and if you have any questions on Protractor, please contact contact AMS at 1-800-566-9325. Thank you and have a great day.